Was this camper a bad deal? Yes. my channel my name is Victoria Rose and I bought this 2002 sunlight truck camper that needs a lot of work we're gonna start off slowly here today because it is a blazing hot out and I actually don't know what the F I'm doing I guess the first thing to do is just to take as much stuff out like the cushions and bed and stuff and see the nitty-gritty gritty gritty details of what all is wrong and what we need to fix and then take some measurements of things hope for the best this thing is broken right here to hold the door open. We have a lot of broken things in here. Uh, come on in. Before we have a close-up look inside, I wanted to give you an update on the truck and the axle problem. It's one problem after another, but we're slowly solving things. Okay, an update before my camera dies. Final is able to replace the axle, drain out the old gear oil, replace it with new gear oil, um, fill up the brake fluid a little bit because we had to detach that and fill up some of the coolant and stuff just here and there. The speedometer works now and um, yeah, the bearing's okay now. There are still some lights on the dash, but nothing like critically serious. I think I just need to reset everything. But so far I can drive it and I'm so happy I have a speedometer now. <laughs> So we're making progress on this old thing. I guess I should name it now. So I'm gonna try and lift this for the first time by myself. I haven't done this yet. Very, 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 very hot out today. This is how it looks when it's down. Squished in there. You going the right way? This way? It just doesn't seem like this little bar is strong enough for this. I can't, this isn't even possible. I just feel like it's not possible for me. This isn't how it's supposed to be designed. There's no way. I can't do it. That needs to be fixed. You gotta shake it around your hand because if it comes out, like I said, I did it and it will poof, it collapsed. I didn't even have it up very far. So I tried to raise this by myself. Couldn't do it. So this thing is definitely gonna be need to be figured out somehow. All right, let's begin with this. We're gonna take off the bed. We're gonna take out the cushions and, and see what we're left with. I'm gonna hit my head so much on that, I just know it. Wait. By the way, I got so much beautiful, lovely comments from you guys. It really, really warmed my heart and encouraged me to pound this out. I need to open up these windows more because it is so hot. I feel like, oh my goodness. I feel like I'm it. And another thing is these zippers aren't in the best repair. I think I want to get a new mattress to be honest, but I want to measure this one and see what the size is for it. I mean, it doesn't actually look terrible. This is what we're probably going to start with because this is definitely probably the worst of everything. And now that the mattress is off, it'll be easier to lift this up. These shocks are definitely shot completely. And by the looks of it, pretty sure this oil, these oil stains right here from the, the broken shocks, we'll have to replace these. I'll put some of those on my wish list. Not that that's a main priority. I need a stall fan. It really concerns me, this right here, how it's sagging. I don't know what to do about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this apart. Definitely rotty. Oi. Okay, before we see the real damage here, let's take a moment to check out today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is 70 Mai. I have worked with 70 Mai before and I really like their dash cams and I want to install one on this truck. I installed one on my Jeep Yuki and it's just good for security 
because they're like there's motion sensors in here so even while I'm sleeping it's gonna secure the area and then while I'm driving it records everything I'm gonna do unboxing and show you now I can only do the front here because when I put my camper trailer on the back this is gonna block the back but it does come with the front and back cameras the front one is 4k the back one is 1080 HD well let's see what all comes in 70 my box Okay, so this is the 4K camera that I'm gonna put at the front here to monitor my surrounding area. And like I said, works at night. And then this one is one for the back. I could probably still put this somewhere. While I install this, I'm going to do a voiceover of all the features of this so you can see me installing it. 70 My Dash Cam has 4K resolution with optimized image quality powered by Sony's best-in-class image sensor Starvis 2 in My Color Vivid Plus solution, which further optimizes footage quality. It's the first industrial dash cam supporting 4K front plus HDR rear recording. It comes with this, this hardware kit so you can enable parking mode, which I'm gonna do with my dad later. It's a very easy setup. And as you can see, it's recording. It has 70 My Night Owl Vision and Smart Parking Guardian Mode with AI motion detection, which can identify suspicious human activities around the parked car. So that is the 70 My dash cam and rear cam. This is what the footage looks like at nighttime. I'm also gonna install the extra harness to enable the parking security because I wanna be as secure as possible because I'm traveling by myself, so we're gonna set that up as well. You can't just cover that up. There's literal stink bugs stuck in it. This, this will not do. See, you can see. Do see the outside. I'm gonna take up this white bit. It's so bad. Oh, I'm, like, I'm just concerned about the mold in the ceiling. Okay, so we took a trip to Walmart and got some things. Unfortunately, we got, oh, accidentally, I accidentally picked up black silicone caulking instead of white or transparent. So we're gonna be able to see my handiwork, I guess. I'm not going back, it's too hot. And then we got this white lithium grease for the spinning thing. And we're just gonna put that on so it doesn't drip. And then we also got a whole tool because we need something to be able to cut out the bad wood. So we're gonna see if that works. I really hope it works because it's $50. So this is the tool that is good to get nooks and crannies. Also, I could use this for a lot some other uses as well. This will be able to cut the wood with this, but you can also use it for sanding things, for scraping things. It's very unfortunate that we have to color things in with black. It's gonna be very unsightly, but it's kind of good in a way because if this looks really bad on the outside, it's less likely that people will break into it. You know what I mean? Like, they're like, oh, they're poor. <laughs> like, what a crappy job. You can see the silicone. <laughs> so it's very hard to see, but these are the little micro holes that are in it. That one and that one. Let's put our black in here. <laughs> Looks so janky. It needs to be sealed and do this for all the corners. It's too hot for me to do it today, but I'm gonna just clean this up and then put some sealant. And um, this is my, I'm not really very well seasoned at this, so it's probably not gonna be the best job in the world, but we are learning as we go. It's also a very awkward angle to do this. This black gives it some character. It's an ugly character. <laughs> there. I'm sure my dad will critique it and tell me everything I did wrong. Okay, so more issues. Um, this happened. That, we had the ladder up and my dad was putting the white lithium grease on here and we didn't think of it, but we rolled it down with the ladder like that. It completely fell. 
and ripped out. I mean, it was already, it's already completely rotted right there. So it was gonna probably happen anyway. So now we have to figure out how to fix the hardest part thing to fix that I am, I don't know yet. That's gonna have to be a different day's problem, but it is bad. We're gonna wrap up today. <laughs> Didn't get much done, just kind of destroyed more things. Gonna say this just once before I begin this work. Was this camper a bad deal? Yes. Am I mad at the person who sold it to me? Yes. Am I mad at myself? Yes. Was it a mistake? Probably. This wasn't a good idea and I am sad about the work that needs done. Having said all of that, we're gonna smash this out and do it because you know what we need to do. Let's get excited. Da -da 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 -da. We need to replace the entire Roof! Yes, it makes me want to cry too. But you don't need to say I told you so. I just stated everything that you already th would think to say. We're gonna begin this, and we're gonna we're gonna figure out how to actually do this. So I'm very I'm very upset with the co the amount that I paid for and what I have to actually do to it in the cellar. But when you really like tear it down and look at it, you realize how bad it actually is. I just. I should have been smarter as well. Okay, so that's out of the way. We're going to, I'm gonna start by unscrewing all the canvas around the top. That's gonna to take a really long time because all the, the screws are completely rusted in. And I need to figure out some sort of way to take the entire roof off. Once we get the entire roof done and I patch the canvas on this side and reattach it, then everything else will be easy work. So one thing at a time, and we're just gonna focus today on unscrewing the canvas and seeing what's under there. This is what I signed up for. Okay, ladder, drill. Even if we wouldn't have that accident, we would still need to replace the entire roof because it's dry rotted out. I wanna show you guys some wish list stuff that I got. I'm so, so grateful for you guys' help. Encouragement, positivity, and, and all of these things. I wouldn't be able to do this without you at all. And I have so much stuff on my wish list that makes this much more affordable for me. So I just thank you from the bottom of my heart. An impact wrench for, I got a lot of comments about using that maybe for the cranking thing. I got some of this, which I'm definitely gonna need for this mold. I got some paint. I got a backup camera, which, you know, will be later on whenever I actually can get this thing going. I'm gonna take my hand at dandy. Real. This is what is encouraging me, inspiring me to keep on going. And then, you know what? There's no, there's very few tutorials out there of how to take these, this roof off and repair it. So I'm probably not gonna be the best tutorial because I'm learning myself. These screws are so rotted out that I can't even get them off. So I'm just gonna have to get as many off as possible and pull the rest through. But I, I realize the issues now. The reason that it's so hard to crank up and down in the corners, it's so rotted out that there's nothing that the, metal's, the metal is twisted. So at least we know that. Um, the whole roof definitely needs replaced. I messaged the seller because whenever I went to go see it, like I said, we drove a really long way to get there and then we looked at it very quickly. We should have been more thorough with it, of course, that's on us. But this was nowhere near worth $3,300. It was listed for $3,850. We wouldn't have known this, the extent of the damage unless we kind of took it apart and you know examined everything. And I asked them specifically, is it easy to crank up and down? They told me it was easy but we left to go to the bank and they cranked it down. So I never even got to try the crank up and crank down. So if I would have known that, I don't think, I think I would have thought a bit more about it. Like I'm hoping that he messaged me back and tries to settle it somehow. There's obviously no guarantees of anything. When, if you buy something off the Facebook marketplace, like you basically are screwed. But I figured I would try that and at least give him the opportunity to be like, because I sent him the pictures of all the damage. I wouldn't have driven all that way if he would have told me the, the amount of water damage that there was. I did, this is my first time doing this, so you know, I'm new. And this is something, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna have to just do it. And I'm taking a break right now because my arms really, really hurt. I'm making very, very, very slow progress. This is what I got done so far. Um, as you can see, there's like some bees nests, but if you look up right here, 
You can see how this is twisted and this is completely rotted out. So of course that's gonna not be easy to get up and down. Now I'm just seeing this as a punishment, but I am I'm going to, to um, serve my sentence. Look at that, that is completely twisted. These are so rotten. So we have full open concept now. Very open. This is exhausting. My arms are just, my dad had to do a lot of the work too because the screws are so rotted that we had to pull down the canvas. And we got pretty much all of it down now. And that is, oh, I, I've just, I'm, I have so much gross stuff on me. The seller did get back to me in a long way. Sorry, you're not happy with your purchase. Why would someone reimburse you money when they don't have to? Not today, but the next time we come back to this, we're gonna somehow unscrew this and somehow get the roof off. That's gonna be the, the more challenging part. Once we get this done, everything else will be like a breeze. We need to crank this down because it's gonna rain the next couple days. And we'll continue working on it when it stops raining. This is terrifying. sunlight on my face when I'm filming for some reason. So what I'm doing right now, we're taking a little break from the camper. I'm gonna be moving my stuff from my Jeep into my truck. I've been meaning to switch the stuff from my Jeep into the truck. I'm pretty sure this truck would pass inspection. Switch a few things over. I also wanna show you a couple more things I got from my wish list. I'm taking my hiking bag, swimsuits. I have my first aid kit and this other first aid kit in my basement over here. I have a water bag, a battery tester, toolkit. I'm probably going to leave in this solar power, so just sell her as solar power. This is a uh, tire inflator, which will be useful. Let me show you something to go off my wish list. <laughs> so in my camper, there is no toilet, obviously. There's not enough room for one, but this is an upgrade from my Yuki setup, because my Yuki didn't have anything in order to go to the bathroom. But this will be handy, because I can store this anywhere. It's a toilet. All you have to do is you go toilet. And it comes with toilet roll, but also this thing came with it. <laughs> Maybe TMI, but my goodness, this would have been handy whenever I was living out of my Jeep. It's hard being a girl sometimes, I'm just saying. You gotta think about these things, okay? You gotta consider the essentials of life. Another wish list item that I will also be putting in my camper is this. Everything you get needs to be mini, but this is a little vacuum cleaner. I was so ecstatic whenever this came in the mail. I've had this on my wish list for like, I don't know, like a year. And I've always wanted one, but it's always one of those things that are kind of like too expensive for me to get on, you know, just, but that I really need, especially when I'm going out and hiking and um, really need stuff with no signal having a satellite Garmin radio thing like this thing is tiny let me show you and hardy and I'm so I'm so happy to have this this could be a lifesaver someday this gives me so much peace of mind I needed some traction pad things so these are very good for overlanding as well now, my idea for the camper is obviously to get it structurally sound and then on the inside I want to redo it in an affordable way to where it feels like a home. I'm probably not gonna make it all cyberpunk or sci-fi or anything just because it is a place where I need to feel like super comfortable, huh? A little lamp. I wanna put on a nice little kitchen backsplash. I wanna replace the faucet. I want to either get different cushions. I will put cushions on my wish list, but they're very expensive. So if I don't get those off my wish list, I'll probably just end up having to reupholster it, which will take some time and I have to learn to sew but we're gonna budget here. So I do that, put up some new blinds, just really scrub all the mildew and everything off the canvas. Update the floor, paint the walls, things like that to make it you know, more up to date. These are traction pads whenever you um, are 
off-roading and overlanding and you get stuck. So these give you some traction under your wheels. Having these is just gonna be, it's just gonna give me a lot of peace of mind. That is such a lovely gift. Once we're able to get to the roof off, which I think is very doable, we're just gonna have to figure a way to get the actual roof off and replace the styrofoam, the plywood and stuff, and put it back on. I think it's gonna be good because it's kind of like how I pit, replace the whole wax, full wax hole, the whole axle on my truck. Just knowing that it's all replaced instead of just a patch, it's just gonna make it better. My main priorities right now are fixing it structurally, getting the um, tie-ins. I put them on my wish list. They are, I do not expect anybody to get those from me. They're so expensive, but I'm just um, saving them on there for the ones that I need. It's gonna be over a thousand dollars for those to, to actually attach it to my truck. And the reason I want those ones is because since I'm going to be on some tough terrain, I don't want it to be moving around. So I need to get really good tie downs. What do you think? Not so much a baby anymore, are you? Now we didn't get very far today, but hopefully in the next video, we'll actually be able to take the whole roof off and see what the situation is. And for now, let's take a little break from all of this and just go out into nature for a little bit. Look how big he's got. kayaking it was about three hours anyways I need to end this video because it's getting a bit random I know we came here for the the camper updates and we're gonna continue on with those just need a little break from them I hope you enjoyed this video stay tuned for what happens next we're gonna achieve this we got our complaints out you know and now we just have to do it and I'm kind of excited stay extraterrestrial and I'll see you in the next video bye